Hello everybody and welcome to the Chrono Trigger Frog Solo Run Final Chat uh, Frog Solo Run Challenge Final Episode. Previously we did some more side questy stuff. And in this episode we are going to uh yeah. We are going to Fight Lavos on level 44. Do I feel confident? No. That's why I level grind to level 70, actually. This is actually my fifth time recording this because I've died every time. Fuck. Please let me actually heal because I don't want to die. Wait, what the fuck? What did that do so much? Yep, I'm fucked. Disable defense status. That's not good for me. The ultimate physical attack. Okay, I think this is the one I was scared of, actually. Is it? It's one I should be scared! Oh, fuck you! Okay, random status. That won't affect me since I can't be affected by anything about slow! What the fuck? I had the amulet on! It shouldn't have affected me! So. Uh, let's just look at everything really quickly. One. Oops. This is my setup. Max power, 12 speed, 30 hits, 36 evasion, 49 magic, max stamina, and max magic defense. Also, items. So yeah, uh, shops all of a sudden started working again. Um. One second, just figure this thing out. There. Yeah, shops all of a sudden started working again. Don't know why, but they did. Also, I got to level 70. I'm explaining where I level grind really quickly because in 600 AD, um, there was a side quest for Mali, and yeah, it's just. It's the Torano Lair revisited, basically. So I did that side quest, and I got up to level 70 in like two hours. I know the game's at like five hour difference, but I use emulated speed up. Cutting in from the future, I forgot to note that I got the safe helm from the Mali side quest, the thing side quest with all the uh, block boxes. Went to the Crystal Medina in Medina Village, chose the chest, got the safe helm there. Should also mention, if it isn't obvious at this point, I'm just going to be skipping all the other side quests since I am at level 70 now. But this is the final episode, so can you guys guess where we are going? Yep, we are going to 1999 AD. The Apocalypse, the day of Lavos in the Epoch of All Things. After all, the challenge of this is to complete the game, it is not to do everything. Hence why I didn't do the Chrono, the saving Chrono side quest. If I went through the bucket at the gate, at the, uh, thing, through the bucket from the end of time, what would have happened is, we would have actually, actually, I'll, tell, I'll say that later on. But basically, there is a boss rush, I was, let's say, some ending stuff. Would have gone through a boss rush and then fought Laos, but that is not my style, so. Yes, let us penetrate right through Laos's shell, using the Epoch. It's time to hold on tight, because we are going! Max power... ...with everything. Especially- I, I especially- I hope we go max power, because I don't want to die a fifth time. 
And that was actually a, and that was actually a really good one too. I just had go forth, Epoch. Da -da 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 -da. Now, uh, frog, please try and get out of the red zone. That's dangerous. Also, some really sick um, mode seven. And now everything's definitely gonna break because he's just revving it for the map to the end zone and beyond. Don't know how it's possible, but it is. So yeah. And okay, Marley and R Robo died. Actually, I just turned them off in the cheeks and just uh, cut that out with it. Cut that part out with editing. So here we go. Time for the final battle to begin. Dude, you should really see it. Uh, you should re you should really get your bronchitis chucked down by a doctor. It's, it's not, that, that, that breathing is not healthy, dude. Now, first things first. Please excuse the Ayla and the uh, mess in the corner. Second thing, second, titty lasers. Thank you for paying attention. This is it. That's all. Uh, okay, the strategy I have here is to leap slash this arm. This arm has 12,000 HP. And frankly, I just want to get rid of the arm. I don't want to get rid of it immediately, but I want to get rid of as much of it as I can. I'm going to be attacking it four times because I'll get it around to the same amount of HP the other arm has. And after this is gonna activate his main body. So yeah, I'm gonna So yeah, I'm gonna do a thing after actually no I'm gonna heal now. Because right after this is actually a really strong attack and I do not wanna die. Nah, let's go for it once. Then I'll heal. Okay, you know what? Let's keep going for it. That strong attack that happens doesn't do 400 damage anyway, so I am safe. Okay, yeah, now he's in a uh, thing. Activate the main body. And now this is where I do this is where I cure. And from here we use water because we know if you splash someone in the face they're gonna nearly die. Yeah, this is this strong attack I was talking about, even though it isn't the strongest attack. I'm gonna do this two more times and I'm gonna heal. And because I have the amulet, status inflictions like chaos and freeze don't don't affect me for whatever reason. With menacing with um me, with really menacing laughing laughing and cackling happening in the background right now. Oh fuck, you know, this is bad. I want that arm, I wanted at least one arm, I want, yeah, both arms dead. Having one arm alive is really bad.
Uh, because they can actually do stuff like freeze and stuff. Though it won't. Though it won't affect me because I am at such a high level. No, I mean like. It's because I have the amulet! Yeah, it's affecting me for whatever reason, despite having the amulets. Okay, good. Shadow Slave. Shadow Slave is good because it doesn't do anything to you. Does seven. Yeah, I don't even know why, for whatever reason, okay, some status elements will inflict you, like, chaos and slow, I don't know why. Maybe the game doesn't consider them to be status elements. And even then, um, what was, what's it called? Even then, uh, poison, infe poison infected, uh, I was inflicted with poison. Okay, this shouldn't be too long now. Only two more minutes left of this. Or about two minutes. I'm not gonna worry about healing myself since I'm at no since I uh, about using heal on the poison since I'm at no um thing since I'm at no risk of dying. As a matter of fact, Lavos right now is at a risk of dying considering how close I am to their HP. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's a good idea to get rid of get rid of stuff like that because uh, yeah, it does that much damage to you. I am not going to be using frog squash because even though I am, because yeah, because they're going to die any, anyway, any, you know, anytime soon. And I can inflict more damage just by doing, um, fuck you game. I can inflict more damage by doing, uh, the things. I can inflict more damage by doing... Uh, leap slashes ra more ra ra rather than using frog squash. I'm slurring over my words right now, so it's so bad. Oh crap! Uh, I guess my two minutes of this are up. Please die now. Okay. Sit back, get some popcorn, because this might go on for a while. I hope it doesn't, but yeah. Did I equip something else? Instead of the amulet. Oh my god, just die dude, please. <laughs> oh 
Okay, so right now what's going to happen is he's going to use Obstacle. Right after this is hack, I think. Yep, okay. Gonna be chaos, I'm gonna either get hit either hit it or miss it. I'm gonna get um attacked by Shadow Slay, gonna hit by the other fire attack. Okay, Shadow Slay. Ooh, nice. That fire attack. Now I'm gonna heal after this. Cause it's a pattern. It happens in the same same cycle every time, over and over again. And this will do at least 400 damage. Not to mention I fought this boss a few times already, cause through foul recordings. So I do have the experience of Lavos ingrained deeply ingrained into my head right now. Fuck you game, just do this then. Okay, frog, good. Okay, Shadow Slay, I'm gonna heal my Ether back to full. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal my Ether back to full now. With this... There. Oh, here it is. And I'm gonna heal my HP back to full. He could be he could be one hit away from death, but I'm not risking it. <sighs> this battle took like twenty minutes. This battle took like twelve minutes last time. I did something wrong. I must have. This is pissing me off. Yeah, okay, yep, confuse me. <sighs> Just attack Lavos. Frog, fuck you. Okay, poisoned now. Or not! There we go! Battle done! Only took 17 minutes. And... 40 seconds. Really, it's shorter. I'm just... yeah. I'm just going to what my recorder is saying. This be evil. Indeed, this thing possesseth the vitality of all living creatures. It hath harvested the DNA from that. Okay, uh, you're from 600 AD. Did they even have DNA? Exp Did they even ha know stuff like DNA back in 600 AD? Okay, uh, even though you are an animal, but okay. You haveth our own, we haveth our own will. The true final battle has begun.
So we're going to get rid of this bit first because if you kill it, uh, they, Lavos shuts off their defense. Oh fuck, okay. Uh, okay, um, um, okay. Change of plans. Okay. Heal myself because yeah, there is uh, one attack here in this area that I am scared of. Specifically in this time time period. Okay, good. So yeah, we're gonna see the most devastating attack in the game, the strongest attack in the game. The ultimate fizzle, the ultimate physical attack. It looks so poorly animated in my opinion. But yeah, I want to keep at least over 300 HP. So if I have like 400 H well actually no, I want to keep at least 400 HP. Uh, and that's least. So if I have 400 HP and 0 MP, I'm going to be using an Ether. But, you know what I have? I have low HP, so you know what that means guys? Frog Squash time! Even though I can't use it much, because I have, yeah, low MP. And because Frog Squash uses like how much MP? MP? Well that's 15? 15 it is, yeah. Mmm. 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 Okay, yeah, I am going to be using heal immediately. Oh, actually, you know what? Good time now. I'm going to be using an Ether. Oh, sorry, I mean an Elixir. Please do not affect me. Fuck you. Okay, uh, please attack the one on- okay. Since we're on high HP then, we will be doing a water 2 then. Since we don't have anything else that does much damage. And I think this one, it's, um, I think it's magic defense is less than it's uh, physical defense. I will confirm. Yeah, it has greater physical defense, so we're gonna be using magic on it um, at every chance we can. We have to do at least 30,000 damage to it. We have the HP now! Although I really love this background, the purple is, is flying back.
I see. Oh my god, already again, that's actually good for me because I can use Frog Squash again. Yes! The one on the left is going to be defeated immediately again. Oh my god. I'm not risking it. <laughs> now we can use this. I just want to keep my HP steadily over 400 because that would be good. But hey, the battle isn't over. Ooh. Spooky, what is this sorcery that is happening right now? Depending on my HP out of this... Right, I met... <laughs> you okay, yeah, I am, I am definitely using that. I am definitely healing myself. Yes, it's restored, but it's going to go down immediately after. And since I was hit by the ultimate attack, so guess what I am going to be using? Gee, I wonder. It's not like I... It's not like I can just, you know, do good with this attack. Now yeah, slow is pretty bad, so I'm going to heal it. Now if I am correct, this halves my HP in here. Oh, this is gonna do good <laughs> damage. Yeah, right after this, I'm definitely healing after this. No questions asked. It's too risky for me to be anywhere below 400 HP. Okay, the one on the left's dead. I love this song so much. Poison, alright.
Uh, this area has the yeah the strongest magic attack. And if I didn't um yeah, if I didn't get rid of the poison, I this would hit me for heaps. Um, okay now, let's see. If I can at least get off one frog squash before they activate the defense again, that would be good. <clears throat> good. The left right the one on the left may die then. Hmm, won't be up for long, let me tell you that right now. So yeah, uh, this club of core, if you haven't already guessed by having killed the essential one a few times already, is the real body. I just realized my HP. What time area are we time area are we in? Get a bitch slap. Four twenty boys. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. This should defeat the one on the left. I hope it does. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was restored then for a second, but it's gone now. Three, two, one, and... Water. Yes! I did it! Hell, that was insane! Everything should correct itself now, hopefully. I didn't save Chrono, so I wonder what ending we'll get. Okay, okay, there's one there, we gotta kill it, we gotta kill it, come on. That's actually, uh, secret, uh, secret spoilers for Chrono Cross. Now we are here, at the end of time, post-battle. That being said, I have softlocked. Okay, so uh, let me- so we'll make up our own ending. After the battle with, um, Lavos ended, um, yeah. 
that one that one remaining lava spit that we saw in the silhouette as a silhouette um just died. No, it was still alive. It went to kill Frog. Frog Fender on his own. He killed it, but the lava spits also also killed him. While he has saved the future, he can no longer save the past. And that is the story of the Chronotria Frog Solar Run Challenge. Thank you, I'm I, I'm really good at making up stories. But in all seriousness, that is indeed the end of the Chrono Trigger Frog Solar Run Challenge. It's been a wild ride. I am very happy that I actually managed to finish this. So yeah. A few things I want to just label down really quickly. Since we are ending. My next project, if, okay, thing is with my channel ba with my channel banner, is that on the banner, right, you can see a character in a silhouette. The silhouette of the character is going to be a hint of my next project. Like initially, before, right before the Starlock happened, I had a silhouette Mario on the banner. But that being said, my next project or challenge is the Chrono... Chrono Trigger. I'm, I'm too used to Chrono Trigger. Um, my next challenge is the... Paper Mario Level 1 Challenge, where I go through the entire game without leveling up. That will be up within two weeks after this video. But... Until then, everyone. I am Roger Reviver, signing out. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.